Here are five more text effects you can pull off fast in DaVinci Resolve. Shaky text. We're starting with a blank text plus effect we're dragging onto our timeline. And whatever we type in here, if we then hop over to layout, we have this center precision. And I'm actually going to right click on this and go to modify with perturb. By default, this will make the text sort of like roam around the screen, even getting pretty far or completely off screen. But if I click this button to open up the fusion page, then in the inspector, we will have this modifiers panel. Don't worry about the rest of fusion right now. But in this modifier, we have the X and Y scale for how far it will shake, as well as the strength, wobble, and speed controls. If I pull up this strength just a little bit, then its sort of wobble will be much more confined. And if I pull up the wobble and the speed, things get pretty wild pretty quick. This one perturb effect can do everything from this really hectic shaking to, you know, gently meandering around the screen. Character level styling. For this, we're gonna show off both the default text effect as well as the text plus effect. The default text has slightly different controls, but in the inspector, if I select any individual letters or words and then change a specific setting, it will only change that setting for the letters I have selected. This is great for basic effects, but if I hop over to the text plus effect, we have one extra step where we need to right click and add a character level styling. And then once again, we would need to hop into the fusion page to affect this modifier. That lives here on this modifiers tab. And then now in the viewer, if I select any individual letters, we have some of those same controls, but we can also use the dynamic shading tab to do things like add custom outlines or drop shadow. If I pull up the softness, push it to the back, pull up the thickness. We have a few extra steps adding that modifier and hopping into the fusion page, but you can get a lot more customization, especially using this shading tab on text plus versus the standard text effect. Sticker text effect. For this, I'm actually gonna start with a solid color to give us a background. I'll make this something like a really pale uh, light blue maybe. And then I am again going to drag a text plus onto my timeline. And this effect is built on this shading tab. I'm gonna make sure I am on a super bold font here, scale this up, and we're gonna add a few different layers. I'm gonna to toggle on this uh, second element, which by default is this red outline. I will make that a little black outline, pull up the thickness just a little bit. Then I'm toggling on number four, this blue border, changing that back to this outline. And I'm pulling this thickness all the way up to something crazy like 0.3, maybe even more like 0.4. And now you see this outline, it's completely connected between all these letters. So if I change this back to white, this is the sort of sticker background and back on this main text element, I'm changing this to a gradient. We can add a few different colors in here. If we start with something like a bright green onto a teal, finally something, what, like a purple, and then a blue. You can see by default this gradient goes from a bottom to top, but if I change this angle, it goes from left to right, but on each individual character. So we want to change this mapping level from character to text. And now that color wipes over the entire thing. This looks pretty good, but the last element we want, I'm going to come back to this element three, toggle that on. We have this little drop shadow. Right now, this is sort of in front of that white background. We want it behind the black background. So I want this text outline. I want to pull up this thickness quite a bit, probably back up to that 0.3 value. I can adjust this softness if I want, but the important setting here is this priority. If we then start to shove this towards back, you'll see now you have this little subtle drop shadow behind this sort of base sticker level. And then you can adjust this as need be or pull up that thickness even more if you want it. Adjust all of these to taste, but then at the end, you're left with this faux realistic sticker that has this thicker cutout, but also this drop shadow like it is a physical object. If you appreciate videos like this, you should visit sterlingsupply.co. This is my website where you can download dozens of presets, plugins, and effects for DaVinci Resolve. Many of these presets are completely free. Several are paid premium products and website members also receive a bundle of those premium products along with exclusive extras like in-depth breakdowns of my newest presets. Why not check out my Layout Pro preset pack? Choose from either the V2 version or the new Layout Pro blocks pack to arrange up to 25 video clips instantly in frame. Completely fill the frame with Layout Pro blocks or choose from advanced frame and drop shadow controls with Layout Pro V2. My ongoing work is made possible by viewers like you. Thank you. Slide text reveal. This one's super fun. I'm starting with a blank text plus, of course. I'll set this something like slide. 
We are hopping back into the Fusion page, but don't worry, we are keeping this basic. The only thing we are modifying in this nodes panel is that we're gonna select this template and click this rectangle option here. You'll see a rectangle pop up on screen. And if you start to move this, you'll see that it starts to actually mask that text layer. So if I want to keep this centered, I'm gonna pull this down so it is just barely the size of this text. And then back on this template, if we create a simple text animation, I'm coming to layout, keyframing on center here. I'm gonna start at frame zero, set a keyframe, push this down, and you'll see this mask is staying still, but now the text is outside of the mask. And if I come forward something like 20 frames, set another keyframe, pull this back up to 0.5, this text animates on with this very slick, like really sharp masked cutoff. If you wanted to on this rectangle, you could pull up this soft edge if you want a little bit of a fade, but then, you know, you might need to push this uh, animation a little further, but then it would have that fade. And on template, if you open up the spline viewer, select displacement, you can click this button to sort of zoom to fit. And if you select these keyframes, you can click F to add a bit of easing and now you have this really slick slide revealing the whole word at one time. Timer and countdown effects. We are once again starting with a fresh text plus effect. I'm going to click this button to open the fusion page and we are adding this other modifier by clicking right in this custom title or styled text window and we are going to time code. By default, you'll get this blank time code and you'll see if you start playing, this is just, you know, time code counting every frame. But if I have that template selected and I hop over to the modifiers tab, we have options. You can see what time code you want visible, a start offset and a frames per second. So if I do something like quickly toggle off frames, hours and minutes, then as this runs, we have a simple counter counting up every 30 frames. If you want this starting at a different value, you could do that. But remember, this is counting up frames. So you would need to type in something like 60 to have it start at two instead. But here is the really cool thing. So this will count up to, you know, just under five seconds on this five second effect. But if I stretch this text out, it will continue counting up. That is a super quick count up effect. But what if you wanted to count down? The easiest way to do this is to add in a time speed node. I pulled up this select tool option by pressing shift space and then you can type in time for time speed. And if I just set this speed to negative one, that will sort of flip around the entire composition. So now it starts at this larger value and steadily counts down to zero. You can then use this however you want in your larger composition, even tackling on things like these fun shading elements that we have showed off many times before. 